What is going on beautiful people? It's your boy here Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, do me a solid and click that like button. Let's get this video to 50 likes. 50 likes lets me know that you guys want me to continue what I'm doing. So hit that like button and follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram at A Connection TV. This video is going to be about it's going to be about Real World Reunion Los Angeles. What? They brought all these old people back for what? To bring the real to reality TV. Real World is probably the last and, and most original form of re reality TV that we're ever going to get, I believe. Because I feel like Everything that's being produced now is being produced now and is being overly processed. I think legitimately what's the la the last little bit of reality TV that seems real to me right now is probably like Big Brother and like Amazing Race, right? Those are like the last couple of reality TV gems that just seem really still to me, real and authentic. I'm watching Survivor right now and I'm not getting much from that, you know? I just watch to see how they're gonna be toward each other and who they're gonna vote out. Cause the whole Shan and Deshaun thing. Anyways, before I get sidetracked, I am here to talk about Real World Los Angeles. Reunion, episode one on Paramount Plus. Now, everybody's back. Uh, for the most part, we have Beth, we have Irene, we have John, we have David, we have Glenn, we have Tammy, and we have the other Beth, <laughs> and that's the cast that we have. There's some couple of people that decided not to come back for whatever reason. Um, very interesting seeing this dynamic of people brought back and how... A lot of them have aged. For me, I feel like Tammy and Irene are the most youthful looking. Even Beth. Beth doesn't look ancient. You know, Beth was on All Stars. And on All Stars, she didn't really... On All Stars, she didn't really do much. But she doesn't look old. Like, But everybody else, they look woof. Like, they look really, 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 really old. Like, wow. And so it's very interesting seeing them come back into the house. You know, Tammy was the first one to arrive and you know everybody loves Tammy everybody loves her realness her rawness and her authenticity that she exudes through the screen and so of course she's the biggest star of the show she's gonna have to come first and arrive in her her car right and they had them walking down this little stretch of road before getting to the entrance to the house and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay. When I think of glimpses, like when glimpses of the real world pop in my brain, I don't really remember too much, but the accident between Tammy and David, I don't remember the house, I don't remember the dynamic, I don't remember a lot, but I remember the, the accident, right? And so in my mind, I'm like, hmm, let's, let's revisit this. So as she's going through the house, we get to see, you know, glimpses of the past and then glimpses of the present how they've redone the house and remodeled the house. And it's still the same, but not really. So there's some like modern twists to it. And that was great. You know, Tammy's looking really, really thin. And you know, a lot of people are like, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? And she's been, she's been open about her situation and what she's been dealing with. But I'm just, at the end of the day, like when I look at Tammy, I just, I just hope and pray that she's healthy, as healthy as she can be. And that's all that I'm gonna say about that. Next person to come into the scene with the gangster lean is John. And I remember John. I remember John being that, you know, country dude, country bumpkin, you know, to find out that he was, to, re to be reminded that he was only 18 at the time. Whoa, to be on TV, the way that they did the lights and the way that the cameras are moving. And the fact that when Tammy got in, she was like, Oh, I remember the confessional. We used to have to start this camera ourselves. Like, whoa, like, you know, times have definitely changed with regards to technology and how they do reality TV now. It is just amazing to see the before and the after, right? 
John comes in, they give each other a hug, and they embrace each other. You know, Tammy says that John was like the only one that she really kept in contact with for the most part. And it just it is what it is. She hasn't kept in contact with anybody else. The next person to come into the scene with the gangster lean is Beth. You know, Beth has her little montage, and in her montage, she seems very stuck up, very snippy, kind of like what she is now. I don't remember Beth being that bitchy or like real evil incarnate, but she has that demeanor where she's like, it seems like she feels like she's better than everyone. Like that's what, that's what exudes through her pores. Now for her to, I mean, I would think that she's obviously not like that or for the most part, not like that to a lot of people or to different people because with her, watching her with Nehemiah on All Stars, Nehemiah doesn't give, you know, sedity, pompous. Nehemiah doesn't give that. And Nehemiah and Beth were like flirting with each other and all of that stuff. So it was just like, nah, I, if, I can't see Nehemiah liking or befriending someone that has that energy. So it was, it was very interesting to see that. Uh, the next to come in is Irene. Irene has this little montage where she's talking about, you know, the fact that she was a cop at the time and how they went through uh, the Rodney King uh, beating and the riots and the protests and all of that and how she felt from her perspective being a person in law enforcement, being in that situation. And it was nice to see that. It really was. It, you, you get a refresher and it like it puts things in perspective, you know, how you could potentially be feeling or how they were feeling in that situation so, so long ago, right? And so, right after that, we get David. David comes in and, you know, Tammy's like, I don't know how I'm going to be when, when I see David. I don't know if I'm going to hug him or whatever the case may be. And so, when David walks up, it's, it's an awkward, it's like an awkward acknowledgement of each other. But then they're like, whatever, let's embrace each other. And they do that. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was cool. They sit at the table and they start hashing out, you know, how life has changed since the show. And, you know, David talks about how his career and everything came to an end because of the things that happened on the show and how, you know, his life pretty much spiraled downhill. And no one really had much to say to that. It seems like no one was like, oh, I'm sorry you went through that or anything. They were just listening, right? And so it's very interesting, right? When I think about what happened with Tammy and David before this, before watching this, I'm like, why is they doing this black brother like this on TV? That's immediately what I think. And immediately on top of that, I'm like, it's not that crazy of a deal because Everyone was having fun. Everyone was joking. Everyone was laughing. That's what I remember from that situation, right? So watching this and him expressing how his life changed drastically after that and no one caring to You know show empathy or sympathy um, Was like very telling I was like, oh How is this gonna be? Okay, Glenn and the other Beth come in the following day and they really looking old, man. They really, really looking old. And it's just like, whoa, they've gone through life, right? You know, Beth is married, uh, you know, and she's wearing this shirt that says, I'm not straight, but my husband is. And it's, it's annoying when people do stuff like that because it's annoying because Shirts like that warrant a response or or warrant a question. And then with that question could come a bit of ignorance to the person asking the question because by basic definition, basic being the key word, you know, you can't be straight. You can't say that you're not straight but then have a husband, right? And you're a woman. Huh? You know, by, by basic definition, how does that work, right? But the world has become so fluid and like, 
you know, everything's meshed with each other and like white is really blue and blue is really red and green is really black and we're all accepting and it's okay because we see the world as it's supposed to be seen, right? With our eyes closed. All of that stuff, right? And so it's like, you know, Beth is having a conversation with Tammy and in my mind I'm like, hmm, is she about to get disrespectful? to, you know, to the concept of Beth saying that green is black. So when Tammy was like probing her, I was like, Tammy, come on now, don't don't get stuck in that trap. Now <laughs> you've been in the industry too long to know gay, trans, non-binary, all this stuff. You've been in the industry way too long. And Tammy is sounding a bit ignorant here. Like she's sounding off to me as she's expressing herself. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But then apparently Beth had to say that God spoke to her for her to believe what she believes and then Tammy's like, okay, cool, then I'm accepting of it. And I'm like, huh, just because Beth brought God into the mix, now you're okay with what she was saying to you, but you weren't really receiving it until she brought God in the mix. I was like, I was like, okay, Tammy. I thought, I thought Tammy was a bit more open than that, but it just, it made me feel like she wasn't or she isn't, I don't know. But that, I wasn't really vibing with that. I don't know why, but it just didn't sit well with me that, okay, she mentioned God so I can receive that. I don't know, because there are a lot of people that feel that way and it had nothing to do with God. So it just, it is what it is. People can live the life that they want to live because that's the life that they want to live and it's their life, period. All right, so we get to this incoming message on the video screen and we have to rehash or revisit the the controversial scene in, in, in reality TV history. Tammy versus David with the accomplice being Beth. So Tammy made it known to everyone that she had no clothes on underneath the covers and she did not want her covers to be removed. David didn't care and proceeded to pull the covers off of her through what Tammy explains as a nervous reaction of how to get through the situation, she was laughing. But on the inside, so says Tammy today, she was petrified, embarrassed, and angry. But she was showcasing laughter. So to David's defense, he wouldn't have known any of that, or he didn't know any of what Tammy was battling because Tammy did not express it to the housemates at that particular time. And David says, had I known all of this, this situation wouldn't have never happened. I think at this point, we're at a good, we're at a good meeting point right now. We're at a good meeting point in here, in, in this space. She expresses what she was going through. He acknowledges that had he known all of that, he wouldn't have did anything. But on the surface, it was all a joke to him. Where things became problematic for me was he failed to acknowledge his wrongdoing after being told what Tammy was going through in the moment. He still was looking for validation for his actions because in his mind, he knew nothing of what Tammy was going through. I think it's impossible for him to stay at that point though, because once I tell you what I was going through, once I tell you how I felt, once I tell you everything that I was going, wiring my mouth shut and all of that, you should now look at the situation with a clear lens and, and being the adult that we all are, the adults that we all are, you should acknowledge how bad that was for Tammy and understand where you were and understand where we are and start anew. But David didn't want to do that. David was still caught up in the fact that we were all laughing, we were all laughing, we were all laughing, and you were laughing too. All of that is irrelevant because Tammy just explained to you what was going on for her in that moment. So this is not about everybody's laughing and everybody's still carrying on. This is about the truth and acknowledging the truth. Can we move on? And that's where David messed up. He didn't want to move on. He wanted an apology and he wanted to feel vindicated 
invalidated for his actions. And that's the problem. He's in his 50s, and that's the problem. He went through a lot in his life, I'm sure. But you're not gonna, you, you're not gonna gain anything beneficial to you right now, not acknowledging the facts and not accepting what she's telling you her turmoil was. And I feel like what, what, what was the straw that broke the camel's back for David was when Tammy said, I'll give you a pass. I felt that that was kind of eh on Tammy's part because you can't give anyone a pass for not knowing what the hell you were going through. So the concept of giving someone a pass for something they knew nothing about made no sense to me. And I feel like Tammy was like, all right, well, I'm gonna let you slide on this. You, you're you not giving him the ability to do anything because he didn't know anything. Like giving him a pass would be if he knew everything that you were going through, Tammy. So when Tammy came off like that, David went on the defense mode and was like, well, I don't, you can keep your pass and I ain't really here for that because you ain't about to make me small again like y'all made me small and blame me for rape on this situation. Y'all not about to do that again. And, and I felt for David, but then again, I was, I was feeling for Tammy too. Tammy acknowledged that she could understand where he was then and where she was then, but let's, let's come at a common ground now. David didn't want to come out of common ground after being told that I'm going to give you that pass. He was just not here for receiving nothing and he played the video back and was still laughing and was making it worse. And that was a chord struck for Tammy because, and she got emotional because she was like, even now when I'm telling you how I was feeling and when I'm telling you what I was going through, you're still laughing about it like it's a joke and it's not a joke. And David was like, I really don't care because we were all laughing. But no one's laughing now, David, but you. And that's the problem. So my question to you guys is who was right and who was wrong? I feel like Tammy is right in her feelings. I feel like Tammy's placement as an adult is also right. I just feel like she shouldn't have said I give you a pass. Because you're not, you're not, you saying that I'm giving you a pass is altogether dismissing how he was and when he was during that per period with him not knowing everything that you were going through at that time. So you saying I give you a pass is really not, I'm not here for that. Like, if she would have said, I can understand how it went. I can understand how things was at that particular time. Yes, we were all laughing. And I can acknowledge that, you know, putting the word rape on you was a bit excessive. If she would have said that, I think things would have ended up different because he did not rape her. He did not rape her. And I believe that David did not want to or think about doing anything like that when he was pulling the covers off. It was all in fun because like David said, everyone was laughing. If Tammy would have came at him like that, I think that things would have been fixed between them and they could have moved on. Once Tammy said, I give you a pass, then everything was thrown out the window and David became ignorant of, of current time and events and was still laughing at the situation. So David is a, is a punk for, you know, not being a, an adult today and acknowledging that that hurt her and apologizing for that. And I felt like if he would have came back with some civility about himself, some maturity about himself and said, hey, I can acknowledge all of that and say that it was really, really wrong of me and I wish I, I wish I would have known everything that you were going through because I feel like had I known that would have not that, that wouldn't have happened. But I would really appreciate if you can acknowledge that I did not try to argue. I that wasn't my intentions, and I thought we were just all having fun. And can you do me that solid and say that you can acknowledge that wasn't in our situation? I feel like if both parties could have been mature and adult about it, we could have moved on. But both people did not know how to communicate with each other currently, and it ended up being what it is. I appreciate Real World for bringing these people back and for me being able to see what was really going on and how they were really feeling and to discover what Tammy was really going through at that particular point in time. It sucks because even today, I saw the ET interview, David is not here for it. David is not evolved he's not grown up he's not mature because you know he called her he called Tammy stupid on the entertainment live interview and walked off like 
Anyways, I can't wait to see what happens in the rest of the series. But are you guys watching Real World Road Rules, Real World Los Angeles Reunion? Get into it on Paramount Plus. And I'm actually getting into All Stars Season 2 because it's really, really good on Paramount Plus. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Let's get over 50 likes on this video. And sound off in the comments. Do you think that Tammy was wrong? That... What is his name? Tammy was wrong? That David was wrong? Or that they both was wrong? Leave your comments below and let me know. Deuces!